Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to conduct experiments in material testing lab. On the other side, we can observe the list of experiments which will be demonstrated. Now moving on to the experiment Rockwell Arnes test. Arnes is the property of material by which it offers resistance to scratch or indentation. Now the aim of the experiment is to determine the Rockwell Arnes number of a given specimen. And the objective of the experiment is to determine the Rockwell Arnes number of the given specimen using Rockwell Arnes tester. The principle and the practical importance has been mentioned here. Now moving on to the materials and equipment required. The Rockwell Arnes testing machine, diamond cone indenter or ball indenter and the specimens. The specification of the equipment has been mentioned here. Now moving on to the observation, the type of specimens used are hard metals or soft metals. The type of indenter, scale and the load, all three depends upon the specimen which going to be selected. And the tabular column includes the specimens, the type of indenter and the Rockwell Arnest number and the average Rockwell Arnest number. For four different specimens, the uh, different types of indenters are used and uh, we are going to measure what is the average uh, Rockwell Arnest number. This is the experimental setup used to determine the Rockwell Arnest number of a given specimen. In this experimental setup, we can observe the dial indicator having red and black graduations and a small indicator with a red point we can observe here. And uh, moving on, we can notice indenter holder, uh, anvil, and the uh, load selector knob. Below that, we can observe the loading lever. And also in the experiment, we can observe the specifications. On the other side of the equipment, we can observe the chart where it mentions the type of indenters used and the maximum load we can, which we can apply and the graduations on the dial which we should observe to take readings and particular applications has also been mentioned over here. Next, uh, moving on to the specimens used for experimentations. This is mild steel specimen, brass, and this is copper specimen, this is ardent steel specimens. The indenters used are diamond cone indenter and 116 ball indenter. And this is the Allen key used to mount. Procedure to conduct experiment is, initially we have to keep the loading lever at unloading position. As mentioned in the chart, we have to observe diamond, for diamond cone indenter, we have to observe black graduations on the dial. So here we I, I will select the Arden steel specimen and the diamond cone indenter for experimentation. For this, the maximum load will be 250 kg force as mentioned in the chart. Next, I am going to change it to 150 kg force. Later on, I will mount I will place the specimen on the anvil and then I will going to mount the diamond cone indenter using allen key. Next I will going to turn the loading lever, I turn the anvil to raise the jaw until it uh, touches the indenter tip and we should continue turning until the small pointer reaches a red spot at point 3 or a red point. This is automatic zero setting dial cage. While doing this experiment, we should carefully do it. Next, after once the small dial is at red point, we have to uh, turn the loading lever to loading position. Then the specimen takes the load and we have to leave it for 20 seconds. After 20 seconds, slowly we have to change the loading lever from loading condition to unloading condition. Next, we have to observe the dial gauge for reading for black 
graduations not red graduations and we have to continue for various trials later on after getting all the readings we have to release the specimen and we have to turn the loading lever to unloading condition and we have to repeat the same for other specimens as demonstrated in video next the readings obtained from the experimentation is been formally tabulated in tabular column and the various hardness number has been plotted as shown and the average rockwell hardness number has been taken and the calculation has been explained for hardened steel it is 85.3 for mild steel uh, it is 77.6 and for brass it is 41.3 and for copper it is 46.3 later moving on to the results and conclusion the rockwell hardness number for the given specimen has been tabulated over here next the important viva questions has been mentioned thank you